Boom shakalaka, what's up homies? My name's Dean. So ridiculous. So there are some really, really creepy ass creatures here, apparently, that you need fire to kill. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be the way. What the freaking heck? No! Oh, hey! What in what in God's name is that? Gotta be kidding me, dude. Come on. Dude, run, bitch, run. Yo, the Emily hate, man. Crap, what now? Let me in, let me in. 
Let her in quick. <gasps> shut the door! Oh my God! Shut the door! Emma, are you all right? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming bloody are, are murder. You, okay? you look totally wise. There was something. Where's Matt? Come sit down. Sit down. Something's out there. Did you there. guys split up? A monster. It's a Wait. Monster. What are you talking about? I said there's something out like there. Like what? Ash, relax, it was Josh, it was all Josh. No, 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 listen to we me. We got him tied up, he can't hurt you. No, it was after me and it wasn't human. Hold on. Em, can you tell us exactly what happened? I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it, it fell, the whole tower just fell right into the mines. Whoa, 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 what mines? There are these mine shafts all over running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand, the tower fell? How'd it fall? There's something else. I found this little, like, it was almost like a camp with these marks on the wall and and this little broken wooden cross and it, it had, it had Beth's name on it. I think they fell down there and, and I think Beth died from the fall. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh God, poor Beth. Listen, in in the tower there was there was a radio and, and I got through to someone but then that was right when the tower collapsed. What? Damn. You made it. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, Mike. Barely. <sighs> what about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. What? Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. The heck is this? Yo, was it flamethrower man? Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? You ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is, it's probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. Uh, hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Oh, what? The... Oh, right, oh he afraid. raped your whole life. Yo, how you Grandpa? let this guy take the gun okay. like that? Everybody, just calm down. He raped your just whole life. Go on, He just took the gun out of your what hand. What are you doing? I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Our responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. What the heck is a is he Wendigo? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Please tell me I'm you closed the tell door. You this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Shut Mike. Shut up, Mike. I want to freaking hear the story, damn it. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods? Oh, crap. <laughs> You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now. All What's up, COD wait. zombies? What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he, he can't be. I, we, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I, I, I'm not letting anything else happen to him. Anything else? What, what do you mean? Uh, Chris, don't. I hit him. We thought he'd kill Jessica, and, and, and so he got me riled up. And I hit him in the head. Chris! Maybe he deserved it. No matter what, we can't just let him die. Then, I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. 
and going alone is suicide. I don't need I don't need the help of the I'm man with the flamethrower. Get down to the base. Yeah, that sounds like Be a safe. brilliant plan, don't Chris. Don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Right. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me. I know. Hey. Come back safe. Come on. Ex we need to hurry, son. <laughs> I, uh... Excuse me! See you soon. This man is mad hype. Tell me, you're the expert on these things. This man is mad hype. Uh, He's had a crush on what, Ashley for, for years, man. You just be careful. You Love that damn lead. girl. All right, yo, I got you, man. We in there. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? You don't burn like it. Fire. I don't like fire. They <laughs> fear it, and it can kill them if you have to. See, their skin is like, it's like tough armor, unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or? I mean, can you figure out what they're going to do? Well, they adhere to some pattern. Like any animal. Or human. Well, you mean like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. <laughs> the, uh, pro-Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toes. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. <clears throat> unless you have no other choice. If these things, uh, Wendigos, are or, or were human, do they, they still have some aspect of humanity in them? Well, they retain certain things. Oh, no. Damn it, what happened? Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So the launch then. Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near. Yo. Yo, Chris, why aren't you behind us, man? Let's get the frick out. Damn it. Wait. Don't move. Run. Go. Now. Now. Oh, oh my God. Back. Back. God damn. We're right out in the open. Gotta get out of here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah, bitch, this ain't ah. no time to 
be injured! Get to that damn door! Man, the body oh count God. just keeps God. getting Cookie's larger, small. man. It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it, uh, it tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great. Great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M? What? What is that? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Really? Is that what you're gonna do? And what is all that? It's uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I, I missed the tattoo. It's horrible. What tattoo are you talking about? You've been a cave in, in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. God. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird. How much crazy shit's gone on up here? What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Em? Em, what is that? Huh? What is that? Ash. Em, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh it's my nothing. god. It's oh nothing. No, it just oh it, no, it bit no, me no. and it bit you. What bit you? The, the Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's, it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it worked? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike. You got to go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am. Emily. You can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do, and I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Wow. The Emily hate is real right now. I am letting you do this voluntarily. 
deal. Oh, no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my God, will you just go? Go, get out of here. Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're, you're gonna shoot me? <laughs> Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Don't. Not for us. Don't, don't do that. I'm really sorry. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh my God. You did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. <sighs> Shit. Fuck, fuck. <sighs> Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> I won't leave. Yo, chat okay. hates it's her not so safe out much. There. I'll be back soon. Yo, chat hates this woman with a passion. My god, my dreams have been I destroyed. Thought that, that he was gonna help us with a flamethrower, dude. Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can. Oh, uh, oh no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? It says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says she'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Mike almost shot me, is that he fine? He didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair, she was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse please, for Emily, this. Emily, please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. Like, now. Yo! Why can't I do that to Emily? That's I don't even want to kill her. I just want to slap her once and I'll be I'll be okay. Let me just oh, in fact no Joshua. twice. Let me bitch slap you her twice. Have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. <laughs> Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. game has gone terribly wrong and your friends like your sisters have deserted you you're all alone can you feel how cold your loneliness has become huh? why did you hurt them joshua why did you hurt them they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake, and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. 
Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from this terrible isolation. You come in for the kill. God damn, dude. You go in for the kill, man. You are gonna get laid here in this private estate mansion. Creepy ass snow place with a creepy ass dude with a knife. But you are gonna get laid. 